Y'all, this is so funny, but every time that I start a video, for some reason, do you see that? Look at that. They still have not fixed our damn ceiling. But anyway, um, every time that I uh, start to upload a video, the thing um, takes a picture and it catches me off guard. So that's why I answer it and I'll be looking crazy sometimes. But hello guys, it's me, it's Jen, blah, blah, blah. First, I'd like to say thank you for um, all 77 of you guys being subscribed to my channel. Um, I'm very, very thankful about that and I'm excited about that. I'm excited about, you know, how much further my channel has to go and things like that. <clears throat> but anyway... Um, so what we're doing today is wedding stuff. I know you guys are like, dang, Jennifer, do you do anything else? Yeah, I do wedding stuff and blog stuff. It fluctuates. Wedding and blog. That's all I do with my life. Um, but yeah, so right now, um, I'm solidifying the guest list. And I'm having a tough time because there's more people that I want to invite to the wedding. But then there's people I just physically can't like we have um 57 guests on the list right now right and each guest is allowed to bring two people so that makes 114 guests on the list but out of those like two guests we're going to tack on like an additional six because they have like my nieces my nephews they're invited to the wedding so they have family on, on top of that. So that brings us about to like 130 people, 128. And my cap is 140. So, and that's not including the people that my mom has to invite. Like, I haven't invited all of her friends. So when I send her over the list, it's going to get longer. So I needed to leave a little gap of people. But, um, y'all, I don't want no more than that at my dog on wedding so it's like the people that I really want to invite I want to invite you but I have a limit and it's like who can I eliminate you know but nobody because most of the people up here right now all the people up here right now are family and close friends family and close friends you know not extended friends so once I start adding the extended friends that's when it goes up and the extended friends it's like have to watch on Facebook like everybody else and I'll make a really nice wedding video I promise but it's just hard so comment down below how if you're married how did you handle your wedding invitations did you just go based on like I'm just gonna go for what I know or did you really have to think about it and eliminate and like process of like did you have a hard time or was it just a breeze let me know and maybe that'll give me some perspective on, like, how many people I'm inviting. And how many people I consider close friends. Shoot. Because I might need to delete some of the people that's up here and add some other people. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. What I'm working on now. And I'm done blabbing. I'll probably be back um, around dinner time. I really have been enjoying, like, cooking with you guys. Um, so we'll probably do that again. Um, we're going to make some stuffed peppers for dinner tonight and some polenta cakes. So um, I should cook the polenta before dinner, actually, because I'm making like a herb roasted polenta. I, I freeze my herbs when I see that they're starting to turn. Um, so I'll just stick them in the freezer. Um, so I have some sage, some thyme, and some rosemary in the freezer that I've been trying to get rid of. So I'm going to make a, um, a three-herb blend um, polenta. And then I'm going to make some polenta cakes. I'm going to fry them on both sides with some vegan Parmesan cheese. And um, we're going to have that to go along with the stuffed peppers. So I'm excited to make that dish. I'm excited to put it on the blog. Um, and while I've been blogging and like recording, I've also been blogging the recipes so that's been helping me keep on track with my blog as well now it hasn't helped me with keep on track with sharing because I'm producing all of this stuff and I keep forgetting to share it on Facebook so I, I am going to start doing that um but that's pretty much it <laughs>
All right, guys, so as scheduled, I said that we were going to cook dinner together. So I'm going to show you guys what's going to go inside of the stuffed peppers. And then we are going to actually start making them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got going on right here. And then we're going to get into making them. All right, so right here we got some tomatoes. I'm not going to use all of these. I'll probably use about three or four diced up tomatoes. Um, then we have mushrooms. I'm going to take the stem out, dice these up very, very small. Same thing with the sweet potatoes. These are going to get diced up roasted. We just had leftover red potatoes, so I'm just going to say why not and dice those up and roast them. Um, roasting. This beet was used in dinner yesterday, and I said I was going to use it in a red velvet cake, but I have canned beets. Um, that I need to get rid of so I'm just going to use that in the cake and I'm going to use this um, to fill to fill my my stuff okay um, and then right here I have a can of organic um, kidney beans I think they're organic they might not be no they're not organic they're vegan though but um, I have some kidney beans here I have some black beans here, and then I have some corn. The corn is organic. That's what I saw. So I have some corn, and then I have some quinoa. So I'm going to cook all of these ingredients. Um, I'll show you guys how I cook or prep each individual one, and then... Um, I'll show you guys how I mix it all together. So basically all of my root veggies are going to be prepped and cut together. Then my mushrooms are going to be sauteed. Then my quinoa is going to be cooked. And then this and this is going to be all added. So that's pretty much the breakdown of that along with my tomatoes. So you guys shall see once we get started. Okay y'all, so I got my veggies all cut up. <clears throat> um, and ready to get roasted. These are my, whoop, just kicked them off. Okay, these are my beets, my potatoes, my sweet potatoes, um, and then my onion. I'm going to toss all of this in some olive oil along with, um, my frozen herbs, the rosemary. Hold on, let me go get it. Okay, so along with the rest of my frozen herbs, this is my sage, and then this is, um, rosemary and thyme i'm out of the morgum i'm almost out of i'm out of everything this about to be all of it y'all um so i'm going to use the last of my herbs some olive oil some salt some pepper some brown sugar and um and i think that's it yeah salt pepper brown sugar and toss it up and then this is going to roast in the oven at 425 for 25 minutes while I um, get to sauteing up my mushrooms. Okay, so <clears throat> here is what's going to go into the oven and get roasted. Um, I went on ahead and I just added the, um, the tomatoes um, into this mixture because why not make dinner easier, you know? Why not? So I'm going to roast. <laughs> that was a joke. So I'm going to go ahead and roast these in the oven. <laughs> Um, at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes and then um, I'll let you guys know what they look like when they come out all right so this is my pan I'm getting ready to cook my mushrooms so I've already chopped up my mushrooms I cook my mushrooms pretty much the same way every time um, I use olive oil then saute them salt pepper um, onion powder garlic powder cayenne and then I use the brown sugar and some liquid smoke and that kind of gives it like a salty tangy taste and I do use a little bit of liquid aminos um, to give it like a salty tangy taste and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do so I'll show it to you after it's done and they're caramelized and then by that time um, my veggies should be done and we should be working on the polenta all right, so I have my uh, peppers cut up. Um, I have some green bell peppers, and then I have some poblano peppers. Um, so I cut these up. I'm going to rub them down with some oil, some salt and pepper, and then I'm going to put them in the oven. 
and they're very very long so this should make for a hearty meal once they're roasted a little bit they should um, come out really yummy so guys here is my mushroom meat or my mushroom mixture and now I'm just going to add my beans um, beans, and rice. my corn to the mixture. I'm just going to rinse my beans and my corn and all that stuff off and I'm going to add it to Did here. Did you cook the black, open the black beans too? Yes, please. Okay. I'm going to add rice. it. And then in here we got, the yeah, we got the veggies roasted and then we got the, the peppers going. Then it's got to be off the Alright, so here are my roasted veggies looking good i'm gonna go ahead and add them to my bean and quinoa mixture and then we have our filling for our stuffed peppers the peppers are still roasted in the oven so we'll get started on the polenta next all right so here are the peppers nice and roasted look at my pan good grief pay no attention to that we're gonna get all that clean but there we go. Nice and um, roasted. And then we're going to stuff these bad boys and put them back oh, in the oven. <laughs> so I've done stuff um, for the peppers. Joe's going to finish them for me while I work on the polenta. Can you show them the polenta? The pan is dirty, y'all. Yes, the pan is very dirty. There is the polenta. It's very creamy. Is it going to rock What up? I did was I boiled some water with some salt. Mm -hmm. um, and then I added the polenta. Then um, once it thickened up, I added some milk to thin it and some salt. Is it going to rock up? Hmm? Is it going to rock up? What do you mean rock up? Is it going to get like back to that? No, it's not going to be hard no more. It's going to be creamy. You might eat that you don't like creamy polenta? No, it's like grits. I hate grits. Oh my gosh, it is grits. Oh yeah, nope. All right, well this is just for me then. I will eat a salad, YouTube. I'll make polenta <laughs> cakes tomorrow though, with with this polenta. So that but for dinner tonight, like we're just gonna have um, just the creamy polenta. That'll be hard, right? So that is the stuff for my peppers. Stack to the brook because they for you because they mm. for your boy for your boy for your boy. Now should we have put parchment paper down? It would have made for a better picture. Yeah. All right, y'all. Dinner is served. These are my polenta grits. Tomorrow I'm gonna make polenta cakes. I didn't feel like waiting on the polenta to set in the fridge. And then right here is my stuffed pepper with all of that yummy yummy goodness coming out. <laughs> piece of corn that just popped out but that's my dinner I hope you guys enjoy enjoy Bye.